the chancellor's party held a finance post for eight years, but now that will go to the Social Democrats. How significant is this? Um, it is quite significant. You have to see the whole context of this. Um, the SPD, of course, had a very, very bad result uh, in September, in the September election, and still managed to get three major ministries out of this coalition deal. Uh, we are hearing that, um, um, but these are these are unconfirmed media reports, that uh, that the Social Democrat, uh, um, uh, the, the mayor of, of Hamburg, uh, Olaf Scholz, will actually run uh, the ministry for the party, uh, and that is quite a significant step. So, so, Reiner, uh, as we come out of this, is Angela Merkel appear to be stronger or weaker? I mean, did she have to give up too much, and does it really undermine her strength within the government going forward? Um, apparently, uh, today's meeting between the, the, the prospective coalition partners was, uh, was quite tough. Uh, the, the Social Democrats, we've heard, basically threatened to walk out of these coalition talks if they don't get three major uh, ministries, which they did, Foreign Ministry, Finance and uh, Labor Ministry, which, by the way, spends the most money in, in this government. So, uh, you know, short of, of talking about blackmail, uh, the Social Democrats played their cards really, really well, and Merkel indeed seems to be uh, a bit weakened here. We have to see, on the other hand, how um, a social democrat-run finance ministry will be different from, uh, from the one uh, that, um, that, that was controlled by Wolfgang Schäuble, uh, who, who, um, who was a finance minister for eight years. If it's true that, uh, that Olaf Scholz will actually be finance minister, um, his policies may not differ that much, or his policy approach may not differ mm. that much from what Schäuble did, but that remains to be seen. Still, how much of a boost will these give to the French uh, Prime Minister, Emma Emmanuel Macron, President Emmanuel Macron's campaign of for closer EU. Uh, Martin Schulz, the, the, uh, the Social Democrat uh, Party chairman, uh, who will actually um, step down and make room for, um, for another party member, Andrea Nahles, um, he stressed the importance of, of basically advancing the European Union, deepening integration. Now, with the SPD controlling two major ministries, which, which, which both have uh, a foreign policy uh, focus, uh, the foreign ministry itself, and the finance ministry, which does a lot of uh, the financial stuff that has to do with Europe, um, the SPD has, has a very strong instrument at hand uh, to influence uh, European policies uh, according to its, to its own uh, party preferences. So, for Reiner, for those of us who are not steeped in German politics, tell us how much of a difference this makes. I mean, really, how much of a difference is there between uh, Angela Merkel's party on the one hand and the SDP on the other? It depends on the wiggle room. I mean, the, the two sides have a coalition contract now, and that coalition contract spells out, it's, it's 170 pages, so, you know, it's quite detailed. Uh, this contract spells out what they're planning to do over the next four years, but there's always wiggle room, and mm. it may make a difference whether that wiggle room will be used by a CDU-run ministry right. or whether it will be used by an SPD-run ministry.